Welcome back to Wing School. For this lesson, we will be building on the skills covered in lesson one, two, and three. We're going to practice positioning the wing to turn the paddleboard while sitting on our knees. This will help develop your wing handling skills and your board balance. In the last lesson, we demonstrated how a wing in motion will create apparent wind by moving forward. We also covered adjusting the angle of the wing to match the wind. We demonstrated how placement of the wing can help you sail upwind and downwind. For this next lesson, we will cover how to control your board and some simple water drills you can safely practice to work your way into it. So we've taken roof rack straps, we put it around our board, tie it off on the edge, tie our anchor line here, so we can do a lot of practice with the board, but not drift away while we're focusing on our sail handling and our board balance. Set the board parallel to the true wind. While kneeling on the center of your board, Hold the wing in the riding position at an angle with the nose angled up. Now bring the wing forward and feel the nose drift downwind. Bring the wing back and shuffle towards the tail of the board. Notice the nose of the board will point upwind. While kneeling on the center of your board, hold the wing in the riding position at an angle with the nose angled up. Bring the wing back and shuffle towards the tail of the board. Notice the nose of the board will point upwind. When the nose of the board is pointing into the wind, release your back hand from the wing and hold on to the front handle. Change your hands behind your back while you shuffle your knees towards the nose of the board. This will cause the board to spin around. Make sure to watch out for the leash when you pass the wing. Now while kneeling near the nose of the board, Swing the wing to your right and keep facing the wing. This will cause the board to come back around to our starting position. Repeat this drill as many times as necessary until you are comfortable. So go ahead and toss the sail over the other side. You're gonna mount from the upwind side on your knees centered. Retrieve your sail, your wing, and hold it with your back hand. Reach under with the front hand. Now the back hand goes and grabs. Bring it up high over your head and flap and stand up. Now get it up high over your head, good. And move it just a little bit like a sliding glass door to the front of the board. There we go. Now like a sliding glass door, move it to the back of the board and that turns you upwind. For the next drill, set the board parallel to the true wind. Using the skills we covered in lesson one, we're going to stand up on the board. Front foot in the center, then our back foot. Flapping the wing to generate a little lift and to help for balance. Now bring the wing forward and feel the nose drift downwind. Now bring the wing back and feel the nose drift upwind. You may shuffle your feet as necessary to assist moving the board. Now move back to the center of your board. We're going to practice the same motion from our first drill, but this time we'll be standing up. Set the board parallel to the true wind. Bring the wing back and shuffle towards the tail of the board. Notice the nose of the board will point upwind. When the nose of the board is pointing into the wind, release your back hand from the wing and hold on to the front handle. Change your hands behind your back while you shuffle your feet towards the nose of the board. This will cause the board to spin around. Make sure to watch out for the leash when you pass the wing. Like before, swing the wing to your right and keep facing the wing. This will cause the board to come back around to our starting position. Repeat this drill as many times as necessary until you are comfortable. Always keep your back to the wind. Swing to swing, yeah. Now switch the hands on the nose and keep swinging. Good, now take more small steps and walk around. 
Very good, very good. Keep her going around. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the eye icon to get our full guide and printable steps for your phone. Next lesson, we'll be covering safety basics.